Hey everybody, this is Know Your Mac on YouTube.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can easily run any Windows application on your Mac. Now, there are many programs that you could use to do that, and one of them is called Darwin. However, that only works on Leopard. So, I will be using an application called Crossover or Crossover Games. I'm going to be using Crossover Games for this one, but you could use Crossover as well. They're basically the same thing. And I have this application on my desktop that only runs on PC called Noteworthy Composer. And I want to run that on my Mac. So I'm going to go over to Crossover Games, go to Configure, and then go to Manage Bottles. And then in my Manage Bottles window, I'm going to want to click on this little plus button name my bottle and then I could select a version of Windows XP, Vista, 98 or 2000 I like using XP now this is going to take a few minutes to create so I'm going to pause the video and I'll get back to you when that's done hey everybody this is Know Your Mac again and my application bottle has finished and now if we go to applications you'll notice that there should already be something called crossover HTML engine and you don't have to worry about that you could leave that be because that allows this bottle to run so we have four tabs here and you're only going to worry about applications for now now to install this we have two options we can go to install software right here or we can go to configure install software I'm just going to click right here close this window and here we have another window now here we have a whole list of software that is already available for download but I'm going to do something different so I'm going to use install support unsupported software which 99% of the time you'll be using don't worry about this just say continue and instead of new bottle you're gonna wanna click on other existing bottle and then choose the bottle that you've created hit continue and then you have two options here installer file or folder now folder is for when you have multiple files in one folder but I don't have that here I just have one simple file right here so just click on file click on install and it'll bring up my window I already have it on my desktop and I'm just gonna click it use the installer and it's going to install now it's gonna seem like nothing ever happens if you keep this window here so you're gonna wanna move it aside because there's gonna be another window that's gonna come up and it's gonna have a windows style it's not gonna look anything like the Mac windows so as you can see it's loading and here's our window and click next accept next next brow uh, I'll just leave it like that next and only check off the first one create a start menu folder uh, say install and now it's going to download all of the files onto my computer and I'm going to hit next finish and now what's going to happen is in this window there's going to be a couple other messages that come up here and it's going to say refreshing desktop manager and I'm going to zoom out because it will create a file folder for me and it's going to have three different files in it all for that application and they're going to load up in a couple seconds and it's done now under programs you'll see that I have it here if I click on it to load the application now just so you know you cannot load the application without opening crossover first so you may want to consider purchasing crossover before you start getting into it so I'm gonna close my dock and here we are we have a basic PC application just like that and it performs exactly like a PC application it could use your webcam, it could use your speakers, and it worked exactly as if 
it was a Mac, Mac application. The only thing that's really different is the look of it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you subscribe. Thanks.